so I don't I don't know what to say about me. Um, <laughs> I grew up um, in Massachusetts and and the New England area. We would you know vacation. We would vacation as far as New Hampshire sometimes, <laughs> not very far. Um, and I went to seminary in in Boston, and this was not my first career. <clears throat> I started off when I graduated from. I always say the University of Vermont because Helen Letty is also a graduate of the University of Vermont. She's oh, very yeah. proud of that. So mm -hmm. she's very proud that we have the same alma mater. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, and so I graduated with a degree, an undergraduate degree in religion and sociology, which lends itself to zero jobs. <laughs> and so um, I was a graduate and homeless and had no money, so I had to find a job and work, started working as a dispatcher for a police department. So basically that meant I typed the reports. And so after about six months of that, I said, I can do what you guys are doing. And so they sent me to the police academy. And I, my first career was as a police officer. I worked for about seven years doing that, including a couple of years of undercover narcotics work. And it was a great experience. It was, you know, you really, do learn to deal with anything that comes along and um, you learn a lot. But I was clear that it was not something that I wanted to do for the rest of my life. Um, and had the opportunity to do some traveling after that and worked in some colleges. And during all of this time, I had discovered Unitarian Universalism when I was an undergraduate. Um, I've probably told this story before, but I was working for the first AIDS agency in the state of Vermont. And this was in 1987, maybe. And so it was just sort of the explosion of AIDS and the response to it. And we had a client of ours who died and he had sort of been the poster, poster guy for the work that we did. Like literally, he was on our pamphlets and everything. Mm -hmm. um, and he was Catholic. I grew up Catholic, and when we went to the priest to plan his funeral, they said no. <clears throat> they said no because he he had very very been very out, flamboyantly out as a gay man, and a gay man who died of AIDS. And so, um, we in Burlington, if you know the city, there's a, a, a walking street called Church Street, and so we literally walked up Church Street to the top where the UU Church sits. And we asked them and they opened their doors and we did them. And that was my first taste of Unitarian Universalism. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.